right, guys, we're working on the Ionic 5 2022. Woo! Beautiful car. Just starting all this. I'm gonna start posting more. Yeah, it's a little dirty inside right now. This is the SE, so it's a base model, but you know what? I love it. I don't think it's really worth doing all the other one right now i'm in the process of installing a trailer wiring harness which i'm going to show you the easy way instead of the hard way that everyone else seems to be doing at the windows tenant of course and also i'm going to be working on another way to install it from the bottom without having to uh, take any plastic panels apart so um, i'll get into that so let's get started all right i jumped the gun a little bit but right here and over on the other side there, you have these clips right here that need to be pried out with a special tool. You can use a screwdriver, but if you don't want to break them, I'd recommend this. So after you pry those two out, you're going to pull up gently on each side, and that'll pop out. Next, right here, there will be a Phillips head screw. Right here, there will be a Phillips head screw. Take those screws out. After that, what I want you to do is take right here and gently start pulling. You're gonna pull this out right here. These little blue clips go in here. And so you wanna be gentle around each one. These ones came out fine. This one obviously did not, so I'm gonna have to pull it out and pop it back into the actual um, clip itself, but nothing's broken. So right here, next, you wanna pull this back, and what you're gonna do is pull this open like that. And now you have access to everything you need. So sorry, cause this is made by myself. So right here, this white hook up here, is what you're gonna hook your actual controller box up to. You're gonna run your wire down here, and that's about it. So let me show you after that. You don't need to disconnect anything else or tear the front apart or anything else. This is the easiest way to do it. Also check those terminals up there, who knows? It's always good when you're uh, inside things to make sure it was done properly. So let me show you next, the next part. Got my part from Hyundai. I like to keep it all original if possible. I already have opened this up. So this isn't the way it comes. It'll come a little bit neater. Zip ties, zip ties. Controller. This is what hooks up to that white port I showed you earlier. This is gonna hook up to this box and go through that little hole I showed you earlier. And then of course, this is gonna be your four pin wiring coming out the back. So I'm gonna install it real quick and uh, then I'll show you after. So, this is what it's going to look like when you start your work. I propped it up with a little screwdriver. You can use whatever you want. Don't go too far. You don't need to. Again, this is going to be the hole that your wire is going to go out. This is going to be... Oh, sorry. Bad. That's going to be the wire that hooks up to that white port that I showed you. So, I'm going to get it ready, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, now as you can see... I've mounted the controller box right here, sorry. Zip tied. Might as well be cut off to make it short. And again, one wire's coming in here, going up to here. And the next wire's coming out of here, and going down into here. And you're gonna wanna go from the bottom from here. So I'm gonna push up from the bottom. You can actually just pull this plug out. It comes right out. Also, these are gonna be in your car you ever get flooded, pick up your uh, carpets, pull those out. That'll help get that water out of there. I'll show the next part next. All right, next we'll be clicking this wire, which goes to the factory harness, into this one. We're in the wire behind this wire. It's always good to have things back. Also, if you have an issue, this is where your fuse is located. It, it stops working, check that. That's why it's gonna be uh, sort of important to make sure that you can, sorry, do this easily if you do have an issue. Um, otherwise, you're gonna have to be 
tearing everything apart. I'll show you the next step. All right, two ways to do this right here. So you can drop a wire, rope, whatever you want down here, and then come underneath the car under here, behind this little mud flap right here. Sorry, bad angle. This mud flap here, the wire will actually come down um, from right here. So I'm just gonna push it up, it's a little harder. Um, but yeah, so drop a rope. All right, now you have the wire coming through here. That's gonna plug into this other part of the harness right here on the other side. Oops, sorry again, on the other side right here. And there's your other end. You're gonna wanna tuck that up unless you're actually doing the hitch right now, which I will be doing at a later time tomorrow. It's too hot. Thank you very much, and I'll show you the cleanup process for watching. All right, all cleaned up. Total time installed, five minutes. Time to uh, clean her up. I'll show you the end. And also, don't take this off. I don't know why people take this off. That's just ridiculous. Don't be silly. All right, that's it, all done. No clips broke. Everything's installed. Remember your two screws, one under here, one over here. Your two clips, one there, one over here. Also, when you're installing this piece right here, make sure to angle it back so it goes underneath this lip. So back, down, and then forward. And that'll lock it back in place. Also, when you're putting this back on right here, this trim piece will most likely go underneath this black plastic. So just get a little credit card. Slide it out. That's it.